This video will be on layer 2 attacks. Layer 2 is the data link layer. It's the second layer of the 7 layer OSI model of computer networking. Layer 2 uses the concept of VLANs or private VLANs to separate the traffic of two or more networks. VLAN is a logical overlay network that groups together a subset of devices that share a physical LAN isolating the traffic for each group. Attacks for layer 2 you need to know for the Security Plus 601 exam includes address resolution protocol poisoning, media access control flooding, and MAC cloning. Let's start with address resolution protocol poisoning. ARP is a stateless protocol that ensures communication within a broadcast domain by resolving the IP address to the MAC address mapping. It's basically in charge of mapping third layer to second layer addresses. Our protocol basically ensures that IP and MAC are bound together. The switch can study the associated MAC address information from the reply of a specific host by broadcasting ARP request with an IP address. If there is no MAP or MAP is unknown, the source will be broadcast to all nodes and only the node with the coordinating MAC address for that IP will respond to the demand of the MAC address mapping packet. The switch will then feed the MAC address and its connection port information into the fixed length CAM table. So ART poisoning is a type of cyber attack carried over a local area network that involves sending malicious ART packets to a default gateway on a LAN in order to change the pairings in its IP to MAC address table. Next, we have media access control flooding. MAC flooding is a technique in which an attacker sends a random MAC addresses mapped with random IP to overthrow the storage capacity of a CAM table. The switch then acts as a hub because CAM table has a fixed length and will now broadcast the packets on all ports which helps an attacker sniff the packet with ease. Unix Linux utility known as MAC off offers that MAC flooding capability. Using MacGov, random source Mac and IP can be sent to an interface. Next, we have Mac cloning. Another method that attacker may use to circumvent existing security device is to spoof or clone a Mac address. This is a good way into fooling other devices that this is a legitimate device.